Documents obtained by the KSL investigators are offering the most detailed look yet at what might have been going on in that home before eight people were found dead. Tonight, Daniela Rivera reports on the oldest daughter's claims of violence by her father more than two years ago. We almost never know what's truly going on inside a home. But in 2020, one of the Haight family's children told authorities about several instances of violent and controlling behavior by their dad, Michael Haight. Inuk Police Department documents reveal those claims came from eldest daughter, Macy Haight. In a police interview, she said there had been several times over the last few years that her father, Michael, had become assaultive. She said he once shook her and her head banged into a wooden surface. She was terrified he was going to hurt her. Another time, she said he grabbed her around the neck and choked her. She was very afraid that he was going to keep her from breathing and kill her. She also claimed she'd seen her father take away her mother's cell phone to keep her from leaving the house. That Michael called her mother, Tasha, stupid and lazy. And when Macy defended her mom, it made him angrier. Whether other children in the home witnessed the same things is unclear. The only other interview listed in the report is a conversation police had with Michael Haight. According to the documents, Michael said this had to be a misunderstanding and he never mistreated anyone in his family. But if he had indeed done these things, it was not meant to be an assault. And he told police, Macy is mouthy and he gets angry at her. The police officer told Michael he did not intend to charge him with any crime, but that his behavior was very close to assaultive and that he should continue seeing someone about his anger. The report states the Iron County Attorney's Office agreed criminal charges were not appropriate and police closed the case. During a news conference after the murders, Enoch City officials said they didn't want to look back. There will be questions that everybody asks themselves. What if I had done this? What if I had done that? Those aren't very good questions to ask. According to the report, mother, Tasha, had a question for police back in 2020. She wanted to know what to expect after they interviewed her husband and if the family would be safe. The officer told her there was no indication there would be any violent behavior on Michael's part. The KSL investigators have requested an interview with the Enoch Police Department to discuss how it handled the 2020 investigation. And Utah's Division of Child and Family Services was part of that investigation, too. The department's saying tonight they cannot provide any further details due to state law regarding confidentiality. Mike Andini, 